Welcome back to Green is Good. We're at the Green Festival's edition of Green is Good here in New York City, New York. And we're honored to have with us today Reno Renvoyer. <laughs> he's he's, uh, he's a French transplant, so thank <laughs> you for putting up with my pronunciation oh, of your that, name. That was perfect. And um, uh, Reno's with uh, Blue Orange Games, and we're going to be talking about Blue Orange Games today that you see here in front of us. But before we get talking about Blue Orange, I want to talk a little bit about Reno. Reno, you're a young guy, and you're doing fun things for a great green and sustainable company. Share a little bit about your story. How did you come to America and join Blue Orange Games? Well, um, first of all, uh, you know, during my studies, I, I did study in, in the U.S., which I, I love this country. I love the lifestyle. I love people, like technically everything about it. And um, being a child, like to put that on side, being a child, I love playing games with my siblings and everything. So I said, why not combine the two of them, like America and working in toys wow. so I, I found this opportunity and I say well let's apply and then I joined Blue Orange Game which is a great company which part of France did you grow up in I grew up in Burgundy the the wine part Burgundy yeah wow <laughs> yeah wow I don't think I've met many people from Burgundy France before but be, <laughs> but it, but share a little bit about that you know in your household and in the community sustainable living my impression but I want to hear yours Sustainability has been more part of the culture and DNA in Europe before it's yeah. come to America. Is that what you felt like your childhood and growing up? Yeah, people are really concerned about like sustainability. And I mean, I grew up like in village where around my place, my parents' place, it's really green. You know, we, I don't live in a big city. Um, I'm close to vineyards and stuff. So it's really like, you know, small hills, like green everywhere. Uh, a lot of people are concerned about recycling. Um, a lot of people are using solar panel in their their roof to right. produce energy which my parent does wow uh, so yeah it's really like and we actually educate people about it even in school you know like to uh, like live a more sustainable yeah exactly be conscious about yeah. the environment like recycling is really part of uh, and you said mom and dad even had solar on your roof there yes we do wow for yeah for so years now so you grew now. up this was part of your culture you're part of your DNA yes yes I got I'm, you I, I, I love that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be as as green as I can. <laughs> when you went to university, was it also was that part of your studies too? I did uh, because I studied in Belgium. Okay. And I, I did actually. Um, it, it was um, like a, a sustainable uh, management, which you we were educate to um, manage a company, but being sustainable. So yes, it was. Gotcha. So then, how how long ago did you find this opportunity did you move to America so I moved to the US in June 2013 so it's gonna be two years in June Wow uh, which yeah I mean I, I've I loved it so which far. part did you move to when you first came over so when I came over I was in San Francisco you know doing the training okay uh, then I was on the road for the company which I, I traveled the US uh, on the southwest and southeast uh, now being based in Boston to kind of develop uh, the new office of the company there gotcha. um, but yeah like traveling a lot I love it I mean <laughs> it's great. wonderful and, um, and 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 you found Blue Orange how did you even find them to come work with them here in the US so to give you a little bit of story about this sure. the company um, so the two co-founder that created the, the company in a, in back in 2000 um, are French and uh, today we we kind of want to keep the French culture inside the company. So uh, you will be surprised, but anybody you will talk in the sales team is French. Really? Yeah. So we are all like kind of French colleagues in the sales team, and that's part of the culture of the company. So then you know we I found the the opportunity in a in my school like a offer like opportunities like website right where I just decided to apply. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's great. And you are the Northeast Region Sales Manager. Yes. Yeah, so uh, since uh, since few months I've moved to Boston to be closer to the client there. You know, like more about partnership with them. Um, you know anything they need I, I can I can be there for them and you open up a Boston office now too so you have San Francisco and a Boston office. yes yeah, so we kind of uh, kind of want to do like uh, remote offices to be closer to the client it makes sense duplicate what we are doing in the Bay Area in San Francisco area right. like all 
somewhere in the country, like area in the country. And for our listeners and our viewers out them out there to find more about Reno's company, Blue Orange Games, go to www.blueorangegames.com. Dot com, blueorangegames.com. So talk a little bit about your game. Talk a little bit about sustainability and Blue Orange Games and why is this considered a sustainable toy company? Okay, so um, it, it's it's really in, in the concern of everybody in the in the company, starting sure. with the CEO, which is like, he's kind of uh, educate the employees hiring to that. So technically here, I just brought Pangolo, which is a wooden game. It's all wooden made. All wooden. The thing is, how can we be sustainable around it? Like the tree we use to produce this game, for example, we plant two trees for one tree we use. So wow, we try so two for one. Every tree that you use for to make your games, yes. you're planting two trees. Exactly. Wow. So this is one side of the green, um, like of the company. But as well in in Peru, um, we have um, we have an association which is called Pure Project. Okay, um, so technically, as I said, we have sales reps that are on the road that drive, and you know, for the carbon print, well, this is not too good. So, what we're trying to do in Peru, as I said, we have this uh, association that helps for the reforestry, which like kind of decrease the carbon print we can have. Gotcha. So, we do a calculation technically on how many uh, uh, tons of uh, dioxide, uh, carbon dioxide uh, right. we are um, emitting. Yeah, emitting. And doing the calculation, then we plant trees to balance Offset. that. Yes, exactly. It makes sense. So that's that's uh, another side of the co- the company. Um, like every plastic things you can see, like uh, see in our games, it's actually not plastic. It's a natural resin called urea that we use to to uh, produce all the plastic things. So the wrapping, as well, the wrapping is like sustainable, like a material. It's not the plastic that everyone's complaining about that's polluting <laughs> the environment. Yes, exactly. So even that's made out of yeah. s- sustainable. How about like the packaging itself? Yeah, it's, it's actually a, a recyclable uh, material as well that we like use. a recycled cardboard material. Exa- so. Exactly. Wow. So everything uh, is everything that you touch. That's that are your games on Blue Orange Games is really sustainably yes, driven. We try to, of, in terms of how you source them and how you present them. Yes, exactly. So like today, like people like knows we are green, and that's part of you know of the business, and they want to uh, embrace the embrace right. that, that aspect. So that's why they really like the company. We are cool, friendly, and e- ecologic. So again. this is. This is this company was started in 2000. Yes. Two guys. Yes. One lives in America now, one lives still in in France. In France. Yes. So you still have French roots but American roots as well. Yes. But a lot of the salespeople that have joined on are actually French. Yes. So correct. how many salespeople now are part of the team? Uh, we are about 7 8 people in the sales Here team. Here in the US. Yes. How many different toys, sustainable toys, are on that site? Well, we have a selection of 70 different products. Seven zero. Yes, correct. 70? Yes. Wow. So uh, we have mostly like uh, like wooden game for early age, but then the Spotted Collection, which is like one of our best setter, if not the best setter, um, there is like 38 different variation of this game, uh, which I just brought the Spotted Camping, you know, Perfect for that season. Got it. What are we looking at here? Which campaign or which 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 uh, game are we looking at here? So Penguin? the the pe- the Pengulu, This is a this is Pengulu. a yeah. This is a memory game for ages uh, four and up. So technically, underneath each penguins, you have a colored egg. Okay, ah. which each player gets an iceberg, and what you want to do in order to win the game, you want to collect six penguins. So you have two dice with two dice. Each side has a color. So you roll the dice, and you get two colors, and you have to find the color corresponding to the die. If it's not a color that is on the die, then you have to cover it back. But you want to remember this is blue in case you roll a blue later on. Gotcha, gotcha. And I want to come back to that in a second. (laughs) We're with Renee. He's the Northeast sales manager for Blue Orange Games. We're here at the Green Festival edition of Green is Good in New York City, New York. And to find more about Blue Orange Games, go to www.blueorangegames.com. We're just talking about here the Pengaloo. Yes. One of 70 games that you can find on blueorangegames.com. Talk a little bit about, now this is made out of, 
like you said earlier at the top of the show, this is all wood. Yes, it's all wooden made. It is water-based paint as well. Water-based paint. Yes, exactly. So if your kids chew on this or something like no chemical. nothing bad's going to happen. No chemicals whatsoever. Yes. So when they started this company in 2000, yes. how many sustainable toy companies were there then approximately? Was that even a business then? Was that even an industry? I think it, it, it was probably too early too like, early I think I, as you said earlier I think Europe was kind of early on the green like side so they started this company in France and then brought it over to USA actually they started here in the USA they started here yes and to give you an, uh, like how it started they had like a thousand copies of only one game which they crossed the country like kind of opening account that way selling units and on their way they just like sold out so that's how the company started it's a great story you know like wow. sleeping in their van like yeah. They really did it like two entrepreneurs, the real oh, way. Oh, yeah, they are real entrepreneurs. How much sustainable toy competition are you facing now? Has it now become a big industry? I think it's, it's becoming bigger. bigger. Like, you know, you have a, actually you have a company that's called Green Toys, and they only do green stuff. So right. they are 100% green. Uh, but I think yeah, more and more like industry, I mean, uh, companies right. in the industry get more like into uh, sustainability, like green stuff. Definitely like more concerned about it. But I think it's uh, it's mostly like um, because we are a company that use a lot of different materials to produce sure. the product. Sure. So I think today they have to be concerned about it just for their entire hearts. You but know? are they excited? Are the retailers now in the America? Are you finding them to excited to sell your products? Yeah. Oh yeah. They are because they are fun, but they like the green side of it. That, that's that's a big part. That's How about the mommies and daddies and the parents here in the United States? Are they uh, responding well to your green products? And and how are they? How are you reaching them? How, what is your sales approach to reaching them? Well, mostly uh, when you tell them that it's all wooden made, water-based pen. Mm. They, they really like that aspect. But on top of it, when you explain the, 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 the trees program, uh, the Peru project, so that's technically like the entire uh, speech that you tell them. That's That way, they really like this aspect of our games and the company itself. And that's embracing the entire company then. I would say like Blue Orange, oh, these guys are really concerned about the environment and they want to go on this path as well. That's how you educate people. Reno, so what's, so when you're the Northeast sales manager. Yes. Are you, is part of your job educating your potential clients, the people using it, or and also part of your job educating your clients the retailers selling it and how do you break up that up every day and how do you go about attacking that so it's it's actually a, a big part of the job um, yeah. educating our, our retailers what we, we do a lot of time is like doing a staff training so technically we educate the staff on ah. selling our product bringing this like the the green aspect of it and then they can tell the third part buyer I mean the, the third party yes. clients so that that's how it's you know like it goes from the company to our retailers to the third part do you work around and talk directly to the third part and help create the demand for your product by 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 telling your story on social media and online yes well we we have a we have a PR department marketing yeah. department that that works a lot on social media I gotcha um, that's really spread like the world but now nowadays like people knows we are green and I mean even like pure project which is uh, in Peru the project in Peru it's most uh, it's a uh, really relatively new what is that? The per the reforestry in uh, in Peru. Oh, the, okay. To, uh, to two for one. Yeah. No, this is the the, oh. the, the trees campaign. Okay. But like the reforestry in Peru, the association we have, so they plant trees there uh, to um for to decrease the carbon print. Oh, we have. The and that's, so that's P U R for our listeners. P U R project. Per, per project. You can go actually on their website as well. On their website, what is it? Per, pureproject.org. It's it's pure-project.org. Pure P U R dash project dot org. Yes. Got it. <laughs> and that's and they're helping offset the carbon footprint of your company. Exactly. Wow. So if you like you said, when you calculate yeah. the amount of energy your company's expending yeah. in your offices and in your travels and everything else, they're helping to offset that. Exactly. So we do donation to them and then they plan directly in Peru. That's awesome. Yes. What is your number one seller? Um, Spotted is definitely still the best seller of the, of the company. When did that come out? 
Uh, How it's many actually, years ago? It's actually funny because we are celebrating five years of the collection of Spotted. Spotted. So why is that? Why is that so special? What's what does that game do? So I, I know it's going to be hard to believe, okay. but between any two cards, you always have one matching symbol, but only one and always one. So technically, you deal the deck evenly. And then the, the player are gonna race against each other in order to get through our deck. So they got they want to get rid of our deck the f as fast as possible, right. based on the same card in the middle. So they have to find the only one matching symbol in their card and the card in the middle. And when they see it, they have to call out the matching symbol and they have to get rid of their card. So you want to be as fast as possible getting through your wow. deck. Wow. Yeah. And what age is, there, is that for? It sounds like so, for almost any age. So this one is a, is a seven and up. But seven and up. We actually have um, like really early age that start at three to learn the alphabet. So technically between any two cards, you have only one matching letters. So for kids that just learned the alphabet, that's perfect. We have some to learn the basic word in English, the basic word in Spanish, in French. Uh, so a lot of different ones. We have a waterproof one, which uh, during summer, you know, you can play by, by the pool. It's great. <laughs> can you share with our uh, listeners and our viewers what's the future hold for our Blue Orange games? Well, first of all, uh, in the culture of our company and our clients knows that uh, we really want to be like close to them and even closer. But every year they see a new French rep coming to their store, which they love having us in their store. Which right. I mean, we, so nice. we, we love that as well because everybody's enthusiastic to see the new collection and so on. So. We want to continue to continue in this path, like developing even more, uh, like partnership with our clients, with everybody. Um, we actually launch more and more toys, uh, trying to reach as many people as we can. So technically, bringing like joy to kids, but as well to family. Most of our games are really family games, so you can play kids, but with parents, you know. For our listeners and viewers out there. To buy green and buy green toys for your children, go to blueorangegames.com. Blueorangegames.com. This is the Green Festival edition of Green is Good. We're here in New York City, New York, Reno. You are a sustainability superstar <laughs> and so truly much. living proof <laughs> that green is good. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. <laughs>